Let's begin with capsule number 10 which is for treatment of under over absorption. Friends in the previous capsule we just studied how to calculate the under over absorption. Now let us study its treatment. So treatment of under over absorption depends upon the reason of under over absorption. What are the possible reasons? The reason can be if it is due to abnormal reason like you did not plan properly, your workers were inefficient that is why you incurred more cost or due to any abnormal reason where you can't blame the customer. Your company is at fault, the customer is not to be blamed. So when your overhead cost is more because of such reason, friends what you have to do is transfer to costing PNL because customer is not at fault. It is your loss, it is, it is just because of you that this additional cost is in. So when it is due abnormal reason, we pass simple journal entry, transfer to costing PNL. Your costing PNL account gets debited to factory overheads. And remember, by doing so, your customer is not getting charged. So there is no change in the cost per unit. Okay, cost of production does not change. But friends, if this additional cost, if this under absorption is due to normal reason, for example, there is this transportation overheads. Now there is increase in transportation over it's because petrol prices are increasing and now it's genuine. Co company is not at fault. Our workers have done nothing bad. In the market petrol prices have increased so transportation cost has increased. And the customer will also accept this. Why not? It is genuine increase. So if there is additional cost because of this normal reason you can charge with the customers. And for this you need to calculate supplementary rate. Now why the word supplementary? In exam, we get main sheet. And if that is not sufficient, we ask for supplementary page. Similarly, we have calculated in our capsule number 8, we learned 6 types of absorption rate and accordingly we charge the customer. Right? And because that rate was not sufficient enough, that main absorption rate was not sufficient enough to recover all the overheads. Here, we need to, you know, calculate additional absorption rate, you know, over and above the main absorption rate that we have charged to customer and that additional absorption rate is called supplementary rate. Very simple to calculate supplementary rate. We take under absorption divided by actual equivalent output. Whatever rate per unit you get, you additionally charge it to customer. You have already charged the absorption rate. Now this is the additional, additional over and above the normal cost you charge it to the customer. And this is how your under absorption will be recovered from the customer because it is genuine price. Okay. Charge additionally to the customer. Journal entry will be your cost of sales will increase. Then if the units are in stock, they are not sold. Then you will increase the value of your finished goods stock. You will increase the value of your closing stock of finished goods. Okay. To factory over it. And remember, when you use supplementary rate, you're charging additionally to the customer. That means customer's cost per unit is increasing. Okay. When you transfer to costing PL, there is no change in cost per unit. But when you use the supplementary rate, the cost per unit is increasing. Okay. Now let's have a look at this numerical to understand it better. There is under absorption of 3000. It is given in the question that half is due to poor planning. Now when it is due to poor planning, we cannot blame the customer. So what we do is, we transfer it to costing p &L by uh, trans uh, by passing this journal entry. Costing p account debit 1500 to factory over there is 1500. That's it. Got it? And half is due to normal reason. That means if it is normal reason, we have to use supplementary rate and additionally charge to customer. So let's calculate supplementary rate for this. 1500 rupees are to be recovered from customers and there are 100 units. So from every customer, we will recover 15 per unit over and above the normal cost that we have recovered. Suppose if the original cost of the product was 80, now we'll charge additional 15 rupees. That means the product cost will become 95. Got it? And the journal entry will be your cost of sales will increase 1500 to factory. Got it? So this is how your under over absorption is to be.